stand out for its air quality. According to the most recent State of the Air Quality Annual Report from the American Lung Association, the Erie Meadville metro area has once again been ranked among the cleanest cities in the nation. Our Caleb Yager now joining us live from the weather deck after speaking with air quality experts. So Caleb, what are they telling you about our air quality in the region? Yeah, good evening, Mike. This is a really big honor for the Erie Meadville metro area. I was talking to some experts and they said across the country at about uh, 130 million Americans are still at a very high risk for unhealthy levels of air quality. And even though the Erie area is getting really good grades across the state of Pennsylvania, it's a bit of a different story. And in the Kevin Stewart remembers the times when Erie received F grades for air quality part of the, the part of the United States that has done a lot of manufacturing and has had uh, air pollution problems in the past. But nowadays that's changed for the better. According to the 25th annual State of the Air report by the American Lung Association, the Erie Meadville metro area was once again ranked among the cleanest cities in the nation. The area received an A grade for ozone smog for the third consecutive year and an A grade for daily measure of particle pollution for the eighth year in a row. There have been some controls on emissions, but we also know that, for instance, vehicles are uh, improving. Power plants have uh, reduced the amount of air pollution they're putting out. The coke plant shut down in Erie. Um, that probably contributed to the drop in particle pollution. Pennsylvania as a whole has a lot of work to do. Angela Kilbert from Penn Future pointed out that the study also indicates that other parts of the Commonwealth are struggling in these categories. The Pittsburgh metropolitan area, for instance, is the worst in the area in the metro in the mid-Atlantic region, actually, for both daily and annual particle pollution. This year's report involves data from 2020 through 2022, not including 2023, where we saw wildfire smoke across the region last year. The lungs don't care where the pollution comes from. They, the lungs just know whether it's bad for them to breathe. And, and so the idea is that even if it's not emitted locally, we need to be concerned about that. Angela also mentioned to me that as the state of Pennsylvania tries to improve air quality, she said that maybe a good place to start would be looking at the Erie Meadville metro area. Live from State Street, Caleb Yager, Erie News Now. Mike. Caleb.